Okay, folks, we're opening up the new F4s. They just came in, we just loaded up. We got the first couple here. I'm opening it for the very first time. I cannot wait to see this. Whoa. Well, now that's, a, that's massive. The size of that. <laughs> what do we got here? We've got uh, some hardware. Well, keychains, remotes. What's in here? This is probably a battery charger. It should be somewhere like this. Battery charger. Okay, now this is a LiPo battery charger. This is heavy duty stuff. Wow, look at that. Another case. Okay, well, let's see what else is in here. Got a turning bar. Handlebars. What do we got here? Sit this down. Oh, bag, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads. And, uh, boy, this is an awesome looking unit, Jeff. The F4 uses four pedal loading sensors to detect if there's a driver standing on the pedal. The four sensors have the same functions. The vehicle can enter balance mode as long as any one of them detects people standing on the vehicle. As the four sensors are distributed at two sides, the detection function will not be affected even though the driver raises one foot during driving. Wow. That's a pretty lucky machine. That's serious. A little dust on it. Well, let's put it together. <laughs> 72 volts. Yeah, the batteries that came with this uh, controller, this intelligent controller, were, uh, were very weak. So uh, at Rego USA, we're including brand new Duracell battery, which will be great for years. Okay, I'm gonna show you the proper startup procedure to the F4 is to always start with the red button here first. Turn that on. You'll get beeping sound and it, lights will go on and off like that. Next, you wanna just go up to your controller. Okay, this is the intelligent controller. And when you do that, you want to push this button on the right, top by right first, and you'll hear it turn on. Okay, when that happens, you can look down here and you'll see your lights blinking. If you don't do that, it's not gonna start. And, uh, but it's pretty easy to not be stolen. Now, when I press this button again, this will show all of the data. It's in the rabbit mode right now and it is transmitting and receiving. If this is flickering, that means the battery is low. Okay, the battery inside this unit. Okay, and also the fact that there are eight bars in here, and this over here tells you your kilometer per hour, that you're traveling, speed, and uh, time is a countdown. You can set your mode by pressing this mode button. If I press that once right now, and that changes to the turtle mode. Hold it in again and it changes back to the rabbit mode. Do it twice. Press it to select it, hold it in. Another way to do it, so let's turn this back on, you can see the display, is use this remote down here. Now if I press the speed button on the remote, you'll see this change from rabbit to slow. This all turns on your lock too. If I turn on the lock with the lock on the remote, see the lock show up here and you hear that noise. Now if somebody was to try to take it, you can't even move it. I can't even stand it up. Okay, so to unlock it, press the unlock button. Okay, and now we're back in, in the speed mode. Okay, so, and the proper way to shut it off is to always shut off this unit first. The way you do that is hold this on-off button on the top right in. You have to do it twice. It's just not going to let you just push anything, so you have to hold the button twice. Then you come down here and you shut off your main button. Also, you want to make sure you drive away. You don't have your kickstand. This is my homemade kickstand. I've got it set up here. I'm just going to show you how this works. I will push this down like this and lock that in. And it's locked down now. Okay. Uh, when I want to drive, I just pull this over here and let it pull itself up so it won't drop down by accident. Okay. Another perfect thing, if you don't have a kickstand like I've built on mine, you just take a 2x4 like this, stick that under there, and that will uh, that'll hold it up just right. 
Turn around with it. Feels powerful though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Let's get it outside. Okay, folks, here we are. This is the new F4. Pretty smooth. Real easy to turn there. I'm in the tortoise mode right now. There's a balance indicator on top of the control panel. It's green. It's used to directly show if the vehicle is balanced and if the user can get on it safely. So you want to set it up so all indicators are illuminated when you get on it. This machine has really good safety devices installed too. Um, each tire is driven separately with an electric brushless motor and if you know about brushless motors you know how they work like rail guns uh, magnetic pulses which stay ahead of the iron core and away it goes it starts spinning so they work really great on my model airplanes and I can tell you they work great on this in fact each one of these motors is divided into two circuits which cooperate independently. So if any one winding won't work or quits, the machine isn't going to just stop. It'll shut down automatically the right way. Pretty smart. That makes for a nice motor redundancy. Well, when you're riding it, if you start going too fast, I mean, there's limits to everything. What it does is automatically push the operating arm backward, and it reduces its speed automatically, slows you down. So you don't want to actually stop leaning forward. You just want to stay with the little, with that fist amount of space between you and the operating arm, and it'll decelerate to a safe speed, and then it will automatically resume again. The speed limiter will actually turn on if you go up too steep of a hill or if less than three of the switches under the pedal uh, aren't being seen. Uh, it's on several seconds after startup until it warms up, or if the battery is low, or too hot or too cold. During this speed warning, um, the operating arm actually vibrates slightly and rumbles. If you're driving the vehicle too fast over 12 and a half miles an hour, the handle is going to produce pushback force and push back the driver to make sure the vehicle speed will not be continuously increased. Schwinn wrap lights, they're quick wrap lights, turn them on, they're very bright and great for night driving, and uh, so I'm including those absolutely free with every F4.
will sit there for a few minutes and then it will shut off if there is no action. And it'll just drop over on its nose. I don't recommend doing this because uh, it has a little less clearance than the F3. As you can see, the battery is quite close there. And also, my little kitty's in the bag. 